2 o'clock in the morning, a time when most children are tucked in their bed sleeping. But at this hour on June 11th, three-year-old Aiden Ellis lay on the stark white sheets of a hospital bed, preparing for the biggest day of his life, the day of his heart transplant. So for me, that was wonderful because at least I knew now, at least my son has a chance and an opportunity. Aiden's mom, Miriam, remembers walking with the medical team to the doors of the operating room. In my mind, I'm just praying as we walk. The only thing left to do was wait. Turn the clock back to February when Aiden got sick and never got better. His mom rushed him to the emergency room. I was terrified because I was alone with Aiden. By the time he arrived, Aiden had slipped into cardiac arrest, his heart too weak to pump blood to the rest of his body. His organs were not getting enough blood supply. He basically had to be brought into the intensive care unit and be started on life support. Doctors put Aiden on a machine known as ECMO, which uses a pump to circulate blood through an artificial lung and back into the patient's bloodstream. For them to tell me that if he didn't go on ECMO bypass that night, he wouldn't survive the night. But the machine was a temporary solution, a band-aid for Aiden's failing heart. He was born with a genetic defect called cardiomyopathy. The uh, structure of his heart, the, the muscle, was sick from the beginning, and it worked until it couldn't work no more. By the time Aiden turned three, his heart could no longer keep up with him. A transplant was his only option. For the next four months, his mom and the doctors did all they could do, take it one day at a time. As a mom, I'm not sure what's gonna take place. I don't know how long we're gonna be here. I'm a single mom. I just didn't know what to do. Only thing I knew to do was to pray, pray for those that could take care of things that I couldn't. Fast forward to June 10th, when Miriam finally got a phone call with the news. Doctors found a match for Aiden. Carolina Healthcare System's Med Center Air played a big part in Aiden's story. 15% of missions for these planes involves organ transplants, allowing surgeons to stretch their boundaries from Michigan to Florida, bringing organs to patients whose lives depend on them. Time is extremely critical. Having access to airplanes can get us uh, basically into any hospital in the region. The main goal is to have the shortest time period that we can for the heart not to have a, a blood supply. And we can almost consistently keep that under four hours, which is a very safe operation. When it comes to transplants, every minute counts. Around the clock, teams are ready to go at a moment's notice. We always have two aircraft and two sets of pilots and medical crew members um, on standby at any given time. 12.30 p.m., Aiden comes out of the operating room with a new heart. Very emotional. Only thing I could think of is I have an opportunity to have my child back and have a life back. Aiden is one of eight children this year who received a heart transplant at Levine Children's Hospital. Named a best children's hospital in cardiology and heart surgery by U.S. News and World Report for the last three years. I'd see a miracle every day. I think a level of expertise that we have here and the passionate people that we have dedicated to what they do, um, it's a whole lot more than the surgeon putting the stitches in. I get a lot of credit for it, but there's a whole lot of moving parts behind the scene that makes that happen. Aiden celebrated his fourth birthday just weeks after the transplant. At a follow-up visit, he scoots around the playroom in a plastic car on the road to recovery. And what does green do? Make you go. Good. Absolutely. That is like high five. Miriam enjoys every minute, remembering when her baby boy barely had the strength to get up from the hospital bed. Aiden would have not survived if, if he wouldn't have had the series of things that he did. As a parent, you come in with control and you have to give up that to people you absolutely do not know in order to gain the life of your child. I had to learn how to make peace within myself that I didn't have control, I had to trust. National data shows every 10 minutes, another person is added to the waiting list for an organ transplant. Aiden represents just one of the thousands of lives saved each year through organ donation. Aiden, do you have a birthday coming up? His smile, a bittersweet reminder of those who didn't get a second chance. 
For Carolina Impact, I'm Danielle Coaster reporting. Awesome.